welcome back to my channel, Grace in Ashes. It has been a hot minute since I have uploaded a YouTube video. I think we're sitting at about a month now. Life has just been crazy. I'm going back to school and I have schoolwork and stuff like to turn in and all that kind of good stuff. And then I got sick on top of it. I've had the flu, I've had a cold and yeah, the world is just not my friend right now. So I kind of took a back burner on not only uploading YouTube videos, but I also took a back burner on uploading blog posts and pictures on Instagram and all that kind of good stuff. But starting at the beginning of April, hopefully, crossing my fingers, I will be back to normal and uploading once a week for YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So today I'm going to be doing an Ulta haul. I have went to Ulta, I think twice in the last three weeks, just purchasing all new makeup, new foundations, new brushes, powders, all that kind of stuff. I picked up the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. This is in the shade Warm. So it's W12 Porcelain and Light Ivory is what it says at the, the top. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that, but it looks like this. It's showing up darker in the camera than it does in person. It's very light. I also picked up a new concealer as well from the drugstore. So. I didn't actually see this until I went to check out and the Ulta where I'm at all of the ColourPop stuff is on the way to the checkout so I heard good things about ColourPop I know that Zoella just launched her ColourPop range and I'm really excited to get my hands on that but my Ulta doesn't have it so once they get that and once I can actually see it in person because I don't really like to order things offline just because I don't know if they're gonna work for me I have to test them on the back of my hand so once our Ulta gets it, I will get that stuff. So let me know if you are interested in seeing a video on that particular collection. But I did pick up this particular ColourPop concealer. This is in the shade, this is Fair 06. I picked up two L'Oreal primers. So this is the L'Oreal uh, True Match Lumi Glotion. And then this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. So this particular one, it has a lid. <clears throat> you screw it off and then you can put it on the back of your hand this particular one I think I'm probably gonna like a little bit better because it does have a pump on it so I can pump it right into my foundation and mix it together the next thing that I picked up from the drugstore side was this Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder this is in the shade 05 I only picked this up because I saw Jaclyn Hill use this in one of her most recent videos and I really liked the way that it looked she uses it more for a baking powder um, but I picked it up mainly because she's very fair skin like I am so I figured if this was good for her for baking as well as setting her face and it probably be good for me so the next thing I picked up was this physicians formula butter bronzer this is in the shade 6675 light bronzer so far I really like the color I really like the way it looks and with my fair skin it doesn't turn off or come off too orange looking so far anyway um, it does come with a mirror and it also comes with a brush underneath. I will probably never use this brush, but it does come with one. And I just think this is perfect, especially if you're traveling as well, because it comes with everything that you need. I also picked up a Physicians Formula Butter like Lipstick. This is in the shade Malvin to Brazil. And <clears throat> it's just this really pretty mauve color. I also picked up a L'Oreal Brow Pencil. This is the Brow Stylist Shape and Feel. This is in the shade 410 Light Brunette. It comes with a spoolie and it comes with the pigment on the other side, just like the last brow pencil that I did use. And I also picked up two L'Oreal mascaras. One's a primer, one is the actual mascara. You have heard me talk in every single video that I have uploaded so far, how I could not wait to get my hands on this. On these, uh, this mascara is my absolute favorite and it always will be. While I was in there, I picked up the primer as well just because I used to have super long eyelashes and all I could do was all I did was just apply mascara to them and they just looked fabulous. And for some reason they're they're just calm and like non-existent. And so I decided to pick up this primer. It is just it's 300 white primer and I mean it's a primer. So I've worn that so far and I really liked the way that it looked. And then I also picked up the Voluminous Mascara in 310 black, Blackest Black. And I don't even really have to review this because I can already tell you it's my favorite mascara ever of all time. I also picked up a L'Oreal um, eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner. And this is in the shade three th or 835, sorry. This is what it looks like. So you can tell it's got a very 
thin um, like tip on it. So if you're trying to do a cat eye, it's going to be perfect for you. If I'm going to be wearing eyeliner, typically I'm going to go for a cat eye anyway. So I'm really happy with the way that this looks and I think I'm really going to like it. Obviously, I will let you know when I test it. And that is it for all of the drugstore stuff that I have. So while I was in Ulta the last time, I really wanted to pick up this high-end foundation just because I've heard so many good things about it. And here lately, I've seen so many reviews from YouTubers and I've seen so many people talking about it on Instagram. And my mother has actually tried this and she told me months ago that I needed to try it because she loved it. And she got hers in an Ipsy bag, so hers just, you know, it was a very tiny one. But I picked up the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is the Illumination one, so it's the pink tube. And this is in the shade Fair. So this was the lightest shade that they had. I did test it on the back of my hand, and I think it might be a little bit too dark. But you know what? We're going to roll with it just because I've heard so many good things about it. And... Yeah, if it's a little too dark, then it's a little too dark, and I'll put on self tanner. But I'm really excited to apply this, and I'm also really happy that it does have SPF in it. I have always worn uh, Merle Norman foundation, and it comes with SPF in it. So anytime that we ever went to the beach, or if I knew it was going to be outside, I always applied that foundation just because it was an extra layer of SPF on my skin. So I'm very excited that this also has SPF and that it's 50 plus because red hair, fair skin. I get burnt like a lobster. So I'm very, very excited to wear this. And I'm really excited to see how full coverage it is just because again, I've seen so many people wearing it and testing it and raving about it. So I cannot wait to try that in a video. I also picked up the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. This is in the shade Light Fair. I think this was the lightest shade that they had in this as well. So I think these two together are probably going to just be perfection. So definitely look for a video reviewing these because that'll probably be the next video that I upload. And while I was on the way to the checkout, I saw this particular concealer in a travel size and it was only $10 and that's the only reason I purchased it. Other than that, I probably would not have, but again, this is a concealer that everybody and their mother seems to rave about. Every YouTuber that I that you watch that does makeup talks about this particular concealer, and I saw it in travel size, and I said, you know what? I'm going to try it, see what all the rave's about, and if I don't like it, then I only spent 10 bucks. but this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I picked mine up in the shade Fair Neutral 12N. I'm hoping that this is going to be light enough, because... Again, I was in the checkout and anybody else, when you get in the checkout, you get nervous, you know, with people waiting on you and the ladies yelling at you next and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, I was trying to pick out the lightest shade that they had in the travel sizes and they only had the travel size at the checkout area. So, I picked out what I thought was going to be the lightest shade and I just kind of ran with it. So, we'll see how it works. This, this is it on the back of my hand. It might end up being a little bit too dark for me, but you know what? We'll try it. It was only $10. So, this past weekend, I tried to put on makeup, and I was definitely going to film a video to go up reviewing um, the L'Oreal makeup that I purchased, and I realized that my dog had ate my beauty blender, and I didn't have a way to put on any of my makeup. So, this last weekend when I went to Ulta, my main, my whole purpose to go in there was to get a new makeup sponge. And then while I was in there, I was like, you know what? I really don't want to be stuck in that situation again where I need to put on my makeup and for some reason my sponge has either gone missing or it rips or my dog takes it again and eats it. So I decided to purchase a whole new set of brushes just because, like I said, I've always used the Merle Norman foundations. If you've never worn Merle Norman foundation, especially the one that comes in the black compact, you'll... It comes with its own sponge, so it's a little round sponge and you just use it with the foundation. And that's what I've always used, so I've never used a brush or anything like that just because I've always been a simple girl and for some reason, the older I get, the more I want to play around with makeup and fashion and all that kind of good stuff. So I decided to just pick up a whole new set of brushes so that way I'm not stuck in the predicament of 
not being able to put on foundation whenever I want to put on foundation. So I picked up just the regular sponge and just you know, the regular size. And then I also picked up, and I was so excited when I saw this because the last couple of times that I went into Ulta, they have not had this one. And if you watch Casey Holmes, you'll know that she has the massive Real Techniques sponge and it's the face and body sponge and the last time I went to Ulta they had it so I picked this one up as well and I'm so excited because I'm going to use this one for foundation so I'll use this one to apply foundation all over my face and then I will use this one for concealer under my eye as well as powder under my eye and powder on my face and all that kind of good stuff so I'm excited to have two different ones for two different purposes just because this one I found it just took me forever to put on foundation with this one just because it's so small and put it all over my face it just took too much time and I want to put my makeup on and be out the door so I'm really excited to use this one and it comes in the package looks like this and it just says uh, miracle face and body sponge so I'm excited to use this one I also picked up a real techniques powder brush as well this one says that it can be used for powder and bronzer so it looks like this and I'm so excited that it is just it's big and fluffy and it's gonna put powder on so easy and yeah I'm just really excited about this one and I also picked up the expert concealer brush as well just because when I use that sponge it does get under my eye pretty well but I find that it's really hard to get in the corner of my eye so I picked up this brush just to kind of, just to help with that as well and if I can get it out of the package it looks like this so it's just a very small brush perfect for getting in that inner corner area and blending out the concealer I also picked up two more brushes I picked up the blush brush as well this one does say that it can be used for blush and bronzer so that's two brushes that say that they can be used for bronzer so I'll probably test both of this out to see which one that I like better and this one just looks like this it's a little bit more um, it's taller and a little bit more angled in than the powdered brush you can see the difference the last brush that I picked up is the expert foundation brush just in case my beauty blender goes missing again I have a foundation brush that I can use so I will say that I did use an elf foundation brush over the weekend whenever my beauty blender went missing and I tried to make it work but the foundation that I was using just sunk straight down into it and I felt like I was wasting product nothing was coming off of my face and it wasn't laying correctly and it just it was a hot mess express so that's what this brush looks like it was the elf brush and it does say that it's a foundation brush but I, I didn't like the way that it applied but I picked this one up because I was like you know, I'm gonna try Real Techniques because yes it's a little bit more expensive not that more expensive means that it's better quality but you know we're gonna try it out because I've heard so many good things about Real Technique brushes so this is the foundation brush it looks like this and I will say it doesn't look like these bristles are going to soak up as much foundation so I will definitely try this out and give it a review as well and that is all that I have picked up from Ulta that's a lot, especially for me, because I don't really wear makeup hardly at all, honestly. Probably about 95% of the time I'm not wearing makeup, hence today. Saturdays are only really that day for me, or Sundays, or special occasions, or anything like that. So, I'm definitely set for a little while when it comes to, to makeup, high-end, drugstore, full coverage. We'll see how it all works. So yeah, that's all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have used any of these products before and what your recommendations are. If you've used any of the brushes and you found that they work better for one thing versus something else, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know because I will definitely try that out as well. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on all of my other social medias as well. I will leave all of those down below in the description box as well as links to all of these products in case you want to go out and purchase any of them for yourself. And yeah, that's all that I have for you today and I'll see you next time. Bye.